Sorry, folks, if that's, uh, you can't see very well. I, I left, forgot my tripod. Uh, had a small one, so. I'm gonna see how much, uh, I can get down with this green works on the, uh, 4 amp hour battery fully charged. Good idea to always wear the helmet even with the battery saw because I just swallowed a wood chip. It did not taste very good.
So you can see in that 20 minutes or so of pruning, it's still a show of half a charge left. It's made a big difference. A lot of uh, brush crud grew up around that box elder there. Before you couldn't see it, it was only a couple of trees of uh, branches in the way. And once this gets chipped up, it's going to look really nice, but that'll be probably after the snow is gone. And I got this one to limb up. I'll come back and hit that one first. And yeah, it's pretty easy. Just go uh, pick one tree and just start. You move on to the next, next. And you know, when you start in on a tree, look for a spot that's easy to get to, to get in to get the first couple of branches. Like, uh, oh, we'll pick uh, any tree here. Oh, we'll pick this one. You look around it. You don't know where to start. You start here. It may take off half this branch right there. You know, and then you, then you can get in, nip a couple of them as far as you can reach, and then zip. You get in there real easy then. You know, some trees are... Uh, easier to get to like uh like this one i could get you know within like two feet of the trunk or foot and a, you know 20 inches or so just start hacking these branches out that's a real easy one to get to and there's another view of that box elder i think a lot of that is dead but i do think most of it's alive i mean there's a lot of dead stuff on the lower branches yeah that'll be in the maybe in the next video Cutting that one down and giving that Greenworks a real test. That's a 14-inch saw trying to cut an 18-inch tree probably at the stump. So <laughs> that'll be a real challenge. Yeah, I did a lot of limbing on with that 4-amp hour battery. Probably got about twice as much done as I did over in that section in that video uh, with the 2-amp hour battery. If you remember, I put the link to that video in the... Uh, video description so you can see the difference uh, actually I can show you that was actually uh, oh, about 24 trees or so on the 2 amp hour battery yeah see those three trees in and then oh, depending on the row uh, it could be four trees in that row there's five trees deep but some of those were already limbed up so this one did a lot more but then i also uh beveled off a couple of cut down one stump beveled off a couple more so it'd be easier time for a pickup truck with a dump trailer to come in here for logs so i did roughly one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifty sixty seventy eight nine Oh, a good 40 trees. And doing a quick count. So roughly limbed up. Uh, I'll pace it off. Oh, this is going to be a little crooked, so. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. 6, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'll say 60 feet. Yeah, that's that stump took some pretty good life out of the battery. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 6, 27, 28, 9, 30, 31, 32. 34, 35, 36, 7, 38. Roughly, uh, well, if there's a tree here and I didn't do those stumps, looking at a 60 by 80 area roughly limbed up. And I could have uh, conserved the little battery. I kept the saw, the blade spinning, the chain spinning uh, between a few cuts. Yeah, so... And this brush by myself is going to take well over an hour to 
clean up with the chipper. So then you take a break or two to rest it back so you don't overdo it when you're not used to heavy work. And you could easily get that 4 amp hour battery recharged. And, and that's uh, the last I'll be talking about how much work the 4 amp hour battery can do as far as uh, limiting goes. I might do uh, I'll talk about how much I got cut. Uh, someone just sound like someone shooting off an AK-47 or a shotgun with a massive clip off in the distance. Uh, <laughs> gotta love the country life. So yeah, that I'll be maybe doing one more video on that charge life, and that'll be the end of it. Unless there are specific things you want to know performance-wise about it. Uh, yeah, so. It depends on what the snow does. If there's snow, I'm going to be running the snow wheels. Well, I got that 96 Formula 3 that goes like a scalded, scalded uh, chicken. Uh, but if uh, you know, then run the run that jag. Oh, I got that stump to cut down. I gotta remember to do that. I could grab another battery and do that one quick. Yeah. Run the snowmobiles, get a buddy out, you know, if he wants to go riding. Other than that, if there's a if it doesn't snow and, there, and it's even less snow coverage, I'll get uh, that chipped up if the temperature is warm enough. Today is like in the uh, almost 40 degrees again. Oh, probably about 38. Well, if it's that warm again in a couple of weeks, it's, I think it's going to be cold for the next, you know, two, three weeks. So we'll see.